How encouraged are you that the Biden administration has offered a deal to Russia aimed at bringing home Brittany Griner and another jailed American? Well, I'm very pleased that the administration is doing what we expect them to do, and that is to bring Brittany Griner back home. Um, as we sit and talk today, it's been 161 days. Mm. And I think the American public should know that this is a proposal that was actually presented in June um, to the Kremlin, and they've not been responsive. So the news broke yesterday, but the proposal was actually shared with the Kremlin in Russia in June. Now, what has been the reaction to this latest development by those closest to Brittany Griner? Well, again, this is a proposal that I believe um, her family and her closest friends, um, her teammates, were aware of, right? This is something that um, they expect. Um, we expect for Paul Whelan to also come home. We expect for this administration to do everything they can. What we also know is that um, the Department of Justice typically does not like to see the American government engage in prisoner swaps or prisoner exchanges. Mm. And I think one thing that's super clear um, for those who are close to Brittany and those who are following this story is that there's nothing about this, um, this justice system that is parallel to ours. Um, Brittany, from the very beginning, was guilty from their perspective. She signed papers, she talked about mm. during her testimony yesterday, having to admit guilt, not fully knowing what she was signing. Um, she has been incarcerated for more than five months, again, 161 days, and we're talking about for 0.7 grams of cannabis oil. This is a country where now um, people have been experienced commutations and pardons in their sentencing from the highest um, government in the land, from the, from the United States uh, government, right? We are now engaging in those practices. Cannabis is now legal in multiple states. That yeah. is not the case for Russia. And so at, at every turn, we're seeing how this is so very different. They've said that they want Victor Bout back in Russia. They've said it for years. And the United States government has offered them Victor Bout in exchange for Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan, and they've gone unresponsive. This is what we're dealing with. We're not talking about playing fair here. And for those who have criticized Brittany's patriotism, right, by mm. saying that she um, has criticized this country or she's protested this country, as an American citizen, she has that right. She has the desire to see her country get better. She has served this country. She comes from a lineage of people who served this country with a father who's a Vietnam, Vietnam vet. So at this point, the only thing that America can do, the only thing this administration must do is all that it can to get Brittany back home, including working with Bill Richardson if Russia is more responsive to Bill Richardson. That's my opinion. Um, but I think that whatever needs to be done has to happen. So kudos to everybody who she's working with, talking to, um, representing her in the courts in Russia. Um, certainly representation here. Everybody's doing all they can. And shout out to Time for that beautiful cover of Brittany. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, Angela, everything you just said there is just like complete mic drop moment. And, and that's the thing is getting Brittany home safely. Now, what do you make of this story this morning that Russia does not seem happy that the U.S. went public through Blinken, that negotiations are going on for Griner's release, indicating that they want any negotiations, they want them to go quietly without fanfare. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think that um, the desire to go privately was ruled out as soon as Brittany walked through the airport terminal with the Black yeah. Lives Matter shirt on and they began to search her belongings. Um, you know, right on the other side of that, Russia invaded Ukraine. And so it seems to um, any reasonable person that this was something that was planned and plotted. And if they wanted her to go quietly, tell me why there are pictures being snapped of her by Russian journalists every time she goes into the courtroom. If they wanted her to go quietly, tell me why it was really expected for her to testify if she wanted to mitigate the sentence at all. Um, it doesn't seem like they want her to be um, quiet or their dealings with Britney to be quiet, but they want mm -hmm. our side to be quiet. That doesn't make sense. And again, I'm telling you, they're not playing fair. So we're, it's a really tough position and a precarious position that the administration is in. If they offered um, Victor Bout in June, as has been discussed, and we're almost in August, what recourse have they really given them? Um, we know, of course, Britney is expected to um, be ending her trial in the first week in August. It's time to play ball. 
and no pun intended, Russia's got to step up and be responsive to the offer initiated by this administration. It's just time. That's where the pressure belongs on now on Russia and the Kremlin. They're absolutely, it, it is time. The time is now. And Angela, why has it taken this long? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, mm -hmm. What I can tell you is by the Russian government keeping Britney there, they believe they are strengthening their bargaining leverage. We've known from the beginning, even before really the United States finally um, classified her detention as wrongful, we've known for some time that yeah. Britney was being used as a bargaining chip, as a political pawn. So I don't know what else they need to do or see. This is someone who hasn't just served the United States. She's also served Russia, right? Yes. She has won championships for her team in Russia. Her GM, her teammates have testified to that fact. Like, this is someone who is a global sports icon, and they could at least give her that respect, knowing that she's also, in many ways, paid a great service to Russia. Absolutely. And Angela, in, in your opinion, based on what you know now, based on what's recently broke in the news, when is the soonest that Brittany could be coming home? Again, that's something I do not know. If it were up to me, it would have been 160 days ago. Yeah. Right. Um, but this is something that has gone on for far too long. It's something mm -hmm. that threatens global sports because now people are going to be afraid to play overseas. What happens if there's conflict, right? Yeah. So I don't know when she'll be home, but as I said, I'm hoping that Russia will do the right thing for once yes. and be responsive to this deal that was offered by the United States in June, mm -hmm. again, almost two months ago, we're talking about. It's time for them to be responsive. The ball is completely in their court. Um, there's nothing else that the United States can do. And I'm, I'm really hoping that they will be responsive to this. I would tell people that it's still very important that the American public learns this story. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.